As you enter workflow, we are greeted with the welcome page. You should immediately notice the two vertical columns. These are identical in functionality to those found on the launcher. As you are new to EdgeCam, it's a neat idea if you use the steps area. Click the forward and back arrows to investigate our manufacturing process. Moving further up, we see the new milling and the new turning icons. These will start workflow in either XY for milling or ZX for turning. We're about to load a solid model into workflow. I will click the folder list and navigate to the folder in question. The file in question is called workflow vertical mill one mm and this can be found in the tutorials folder. In this case, I'm deliberately going to select the incorrect file. To call in the correct file, I simply click the file menu, open and then browse for a second time and select the correct file. The file that I'm using can be found on the online tutorial and this can be again accessed by clicking the question mark on the far right hand side. We are following workflow milling one. The file is now loaded and in the background workflow will automatically attempt to align the model and set the datum. The datum is represented by the coloured marker. Let me draw your attention to the setup window. You may set the material type. This is used for tool selection and calculation of feed and speed. You gain an instant understanding as to the proportion of the part when you view the part dimensions. And you may even alter the manufacturing environment. Notice that not only is the part realigned, but the axis notification found on the bottom right hand side is also altered. You may rotate the part, simply press and hold the right hand mouse button and move your mouse. And to pan the part, press and hold the mouse wheel, now move your mouse. Investigate the icons on the top left hand side, in particular view orientation. Select a different view, maybe go to isometric. You may see also render the part. Let's now concentrate on the other side of the component setup window. This concerns itself with datum and position. Currently identified on the screen is our absolute datum, x0, y0, z0. Observe that when I pick the radio button, the marker moves to the corresponding position on the component. Bottom left, middle bottom, bottom right. Select the radio button in the center, the data moves to the center of the component. You may rotate the solid body by clicking on any of the direction arrows found in the rotation area. The step is currently set at 90 degrees. You may even move the part using the position arrows. In this instance the part moves 10 mm which is the adjust increment setting. You will notice the model will highlight as you float the mouse over its face. You press V on the keyboard, the feedback will extend enabling you to verify the information on the solid model. With our datum on the bottom left hand corner we can now move on to our next stage but before doing so it's a wise idea to save your part. Simply press the save command. 